everyone today we are going to talk about my review on the fruit saver steam canner that I just purchased recently and had two opportunities to use this so I know exactly my pros and cons of this one and we're gonna talk about old school water bath canning yep this big old heavy mama jammer right here. Look at this. Whew, this bad boy. I could be curling this. Use this as a weight. Because this bad boy is so, so heavy. So let's get down and dirty. And let's talk about the pros and cons of the Fruit Saver Steam Canner and the old traditional water bath canner. Are you guys ready? I know I'm ready because I am so excited to tell you what I think about both of these canners. So stay tuned, you guys. Guys, first, let's talk about an oldie but goodie. Now, I usually um, use my pressure canner as my water bath canner. And I, if I can't use my pressure canner, this is what I use instead. This is what I use if I'm already doing something in my pressure cooker. This is my, my stand-in water bath canner. Deep. And it's not as heavy as my pressure canner. But child, let me tell you. When you put some water in this bad boy, it is like you're putting like 10 pounds of weight plus the weight of this pot. So, whew, this bad boy is heavy, heavy, heavy. And can I stress heavy? Whew, and can you imagine when this thing has a lot of water in it and you're done with your water bath canning, how you got to like struggle whew, to get it to the sink. And then I have to like hold one hand here and I got to try to pour it because don't forget, sometimes this water is super, super hot. So I got to struggle at the sink trying to pour all this water off. And it ain't no joke. If I got to use my pressure canner. Now, let me show you this. Let me move this to the side because you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now, if I have to use my pressure canner, you know, you have the rack in the bottom. And you can tell... This pressure canner has been well loved because look how dark it is in the bottom of my pressure canner. You have to put this rack at the bottom because you don't want your jars to touch the bottom because then they will shatter like nobody's business. But just think, you have this all this filled with water and then you have to put this rack in here. And then you have your bottles in there got the water in there and then when it's time to lift this your, your jars out and you know you gotta lower your rack all the way down you got all your jars in here I'll tilt it you can see see you got all your jars in there and you got your rack okay when it comes to picking this rack out of here you gotta put your pot holders in and it's going to be super, super hot. And you got to be extra careful when you're putting these, they're pulling this rack out because you don't want your jars to fall over. You don't want to touch the jars because they are so, so hot. And plus, you have to keep in mind, you've got this container full of boiling hot water. Woo! That is a lot to process. But you know, we did it because we wanted to can. So we adapted and we did whatever we needed to do in order to get this process done. So I am so happy that they have streamlined and brought a newer version to us. And that new version is called... Dun, 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 dun. It is called the Fruit... Fruit saver steam canner oh yeah oh yeah this bad boy oh and on the old school canner you had to have that 
that pressure regulator. Well, in here, the only thing you hear a little bit of is a little bit of this movement. That's all you see because the dial doesn't go. All you have to do is know your altitude and then you look on this dial and it tells you what zone you are. If you know your altitude and you know what color your zone is, when this little red line gets into your zone, trust and believe, baby, that's when you start your cooking process. And after, and you got to make sure you keep it in your color all through the, the cooking process. And then when you're done and you let this thing cool off, look, and you have to pour this water out of here, Look how light this is. It's not like, oh, 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 like you have to struggle. You ain't got to struggle. You just pick this bad, but look how light this is. Super light. Not as heavy as this bad boy is. Look at this one. Ugh. Look at the size difference from this to this. Look at this. Side by side comparison. You see that? This is half the size of this big bad boy right here. Whew. This is so heavy. This is so light. Come on now. Which one would you rather have? Light or struggle with this ugh, heavy one full of water? And then when you have your water in this fruit saver one, let me tell you. Let's pretend we have some jars inside of this fruit saver one and oh before we can get into that look at this you don't even have to have a lot of water you can tell where the water level is because you see where it's all dark now because i let you know i've already broken this bad boy you see where the water level is it is only you use two and a half quarts of water still be able to pick it up easy peasy and then you put your rack in. Then you put your jars in. I'm just doing this for demonstration. And you put your lid in. When you need to lift it, if you have to lift it just to see what the weight is with your empty jars, still going to be light as a feather. You open it up. Look at this. Take your jars out. And if you have to pour the water out, bam. You don't even take the rack out. Bam, 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 easy peasy. You don't have to have all that water in the old traditional canner and you don't have to have all this weight on you. Mm -mm, I don't have to struggle no more. It's easy. I don't have to worry about the regulator, you know, making me nervous with that sound. No, I don't have all that anymore. All I gotta do is make sure that I know my altitude, I know my zone, I know my color, and your girl is in there. Are you hearing me what I'm telling you? I love this fruit saver steam canner just because I don't have to deal with the weight, I don't have to deal with the water, I don't have to deal with that rack you gotta pull up. Only thing I have to deal with is nothing. Fruit saver canner, light, doesn't take a lot of water, easy to manipulate this dial, it can hold a lot of the pint size jars, and it can also accommodate quarts. I'm loving it, loving, loving, loving it. So all I can say, if you guys have never tried the Fruit Saver Steam Canner, you need to put this on your Christmas list. You know the holidays are coming up. You know it'll be here before you know it. Ask for a Fruit Saver Steam Canner, and this would be one of the best presents you would have ever received. Especially if you're into preserving your food, this is perfect. Less time, less water, less headaches. You won't be as nervous. Trust me, you will be a little nervous because it's the first time you used it.
Me, my heart was in my throat. And at one time, when that when this top started to move like this real well, child, you know, like that cat said, exit, stage right. Your girl, whoosh, I flew to the right because I was like, oh my God, I think the top's going to pop off. But then I remembered, just get in there and just lower the heat so it can calm itself down. Make sure it's in my zone color. And I was perfect after that. Because I already got that, that scaredness out of my system. Now I'm more comfortable with it. And like you said, look at this. Your girl done already used it. Because look, you see the darkness? See the water line? Mm-hmm. Miss Renee done broke hers in. I'm ready. I'm ready to do some damage. We're canning up some stuff. Now, don't forget, it's not going to replace your pressure canner because it's not a pressure canner. This is a water bath canner. Anything you can water bath, you can do it in this Fruit Saver Steam Canner. That's just my review on the Fruit Saver um, Steam Canner. Now, which one would I choose? Honestly, honestly, hands down. Because I already told you the reasons why I love this steam canner. This is the new vision, uh, or I should say, the new invention of streamlining the water bath canner from the old school. This bad boy is the new school. So you better jump on the train and get on with the new school steam canner of water bathing because you will love it all right guys i hope this helped you and if you're on the fence if you want to you know stop using your old water bath canner and jump on and try out this fruit saver um canner i'm telling you you will not be disappointed if you have any questions or anything about the fruit saver leave them down in the comments below and i will try to answer them the best I can. If not, I'm sure there's an email. I'm sure there's an 800 number that I can give you to where you can talk to a person that is um, familiar more than me with the Fruit Saver Steam Canner and it can put your mind at ease. All right, guys, this is your girl Renee saying I hope you enjoyed my review of the Fruit Saver Canner. Because I am sold, sold, sold. I will always be using my Fruit Saver Steam Canner. And if I have so many um, things to process in a day, this makes it easy. Because it only takes, you can't go past 40 minutes in this steam canner. If you have something that needs to be processed more than 40 minutes, I do believe, then you're going to have to go to old school. But most of the things that I know me, and you guys will probably be canning will be way under 40 minutes. And then you let that, you take the first batch out, get your jars ready, keep this kind of on low heat till you get your jars ready, get them all filled up. Boom, you can stick it right back in here. Bring this thing up to temp, get it into your color zone. And you're ready for a round two, baby. You know how much can food, I mean, um, canning you could get done in that little bit of time. I've tried this and I think I've tried it the last time with my um, bread and butter pickles. I made 12 in one day. 12. You want to see what they look like? Come on, I'll show you. Twelve of these, you guys. I made twelve of these in one day. Your girl wasn't messing around. I had all my stuff cut up. I even made a video of me canning up these bread and butter pickles. Go ahead and check it out. And you can see your girl was rolling. Putting them cucumbers in. I put different things inside of my um, jars because I wanted to have a different taste for my bread and butter pickles. Your girl was living the life with this fruit saver steam canner 
All right, guys, I don't want this video to be too long. I just wanted to bring you my review of this theme canner. All right, guys, I will check you guys out when I see you again in my next video because I'm sure I'm going to be canning more stuff in this Fruit Saver Steam Canner. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Woohoo! So happy about this Steam Canner. It is so, so, so easy. You hear me? Easy. All right, guys, take care.